Hello, and in today's episode, we're going to build a ghost detector. I just saw the new Ghostbusters movie, and I was inspired to create this. Also, there were a few requests on Facebook, so here we go. This is an old MCU with a simple DHT11 sensor and a peer sensor that measures humidity, the temperature, and if there is a movement of paranormal kind. As you can see, the peer is connected to 3.3 volts. You can by bypass the LDO using the jumpers on the left, on the top left. This is a simple node MCU. Very simple circuit to assemble. This is what we get on Things Pink. And things speak. Whoa, there is a ghost here. As you can see, there are three channels that I'm getting data, three fields the temperature, the humidity, and zero or, or one if a movement was detected via the peer sensor. You can add up to eight fields on things speak. And you can simply watch them move around according to the data that you send via the node MCU. Simply need to create a new channel and add three fields. Up to eight fields can be added. Now let's review the Arduino code. Quite basic, quite simple. Using the DHT library, the add a foot library. Simply declaring the pins, the sensor type. Connecting to my router and afterwards I'm bidding the request, the get request. Simply adding field number and the data to be sent to the web page. Don't forget to update your ThinkSpeak key. Very basic. Have fun.